Uh, yeah, it's been going well. Uh, I think we ended, I think I said, we, we ended the season so well. Yeah. Um, we ended on probably our biggest high as a club. Um, so I, I think it was one of them situations where we actually didn't want the season to end. Um, we just wanted to keep going until we got back to, well, not back to a low, that sounds bad, but got to a point where we stopped because we were just doing so well. Um, so sadly, the season ended and now we're back into pre-season and we've had a good one. Um, but you don't know until you properly go into the season and start again. I think when you play these pre-season friendlies, everyone's putting out different teams. It's not the complete starting eleven which you'll play on the day that counts. So you don't know where you're at until that first game of the season, really. But right now, I think we're in a good place. Yeah, I mean, I, I was, I was nervous coming back. I think everyone is, but I don't think you realise it until you go through that injury. Um, it was. For me individually, I came on at 1-1 and Hope said to me, Ellie, go get the winner. And we lost 3-1, so I didn't really have the effect. <laughs> didn't have the effect you expected, really. Um, for me, I, I came off, I think I did a post match interview and I came off and I was still happy, um, which didn't look great. But for me, it was a massive personal goal to get back on that pitch and have the bravery to go into a challenge against the likes of Ke Keris Harrop and all of them, which I've not actually put myself against. Um, I felt as the season went on, I grew with confidence uh, and started to want to get on the ball again and want to go 1v1 and do all them things. No pun intended. Oh yeah, no pun intended. <laughs> um, but it was, uh, it, it's, I feel good now. I'm starting to feel uh, my strongness again, which sadly I was at the, that month when I actually did it. Um, so I felt like I was flying and then I did it. So I'm, I'm finally getting back to that stage. So I'm, I'm in a good place. Um, personal goals would be to obviously see the year, to see the year out fit, um, but also to do what I do best and that's to help the team win games. And ultimately my personal goals is for the team to finish level than what it was last year or, or higher. Uh, it's still early days for me in terms of working on the hope, but in terms of the attention, the attention to detail she gives, um, and in terms of the tactical information she she would give to me individually and as a whole to the team, um, I think it allows us to go into games um, crossing every sort of box and dotting every single I. So, like I said, it's still early days, um, but from what I've seen so far, I think it's that that attention that will we'll sort of see us, us, you know, hopefully get get the points and, and wins that we believe we can do now. I think I, I came as quite a young kid. I think I came at like 19 uh, over from from Italy. So she, she had a bit of a handful with me because it was like a, a young kid who's been abroad, thinks she's grown up, but probably hasn't actually grown up as much as she thought she had. So it was like, she, she, um, she handled me very well. And I've been here four seasons now and to be fair, that's, that's credit to her. Um, I've never stayed at a, seat, uh, a club this long um, because I genuinely really like it here. Uh, I love the girls, I love the environment. Um, and I think she's, she's seen me through my maturity stage and helped me grow throughout that and individually told me what I need to do. Um, and I, and I don't think that's easy for a coach as well as it's easy for a player to have to actually go through the maturity stage with a kid. Yeah. Uh, and I feel like I'm actually somewhat of a, an adult around this lot now so it's it's quite nice to feel that way <laughs> you're making no, us I, 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 yeah, I said I, adult I, I went adult not you. mature yeah I definitely can't remember the last time I actually played in front of fans now so that's going to be massive in terms of that interaction which is so so important in the women's game um so I'm looking forward to playing in front of the new fans um I'm sure the girls are equally as excited to play at the Amex um, and also in front of fans as well. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I think that we normally, prior to COVID, had like one game at the Amex every year and we were always waiting for it, like at the end of the season or something. And now having it at the very start of the season is just great to look forward to. Um, I did my ACL on the Amex, so I can't wait to just get that out of the way with and uh, end that game and be absolutely happy once we've won and done that. Yeah. But um, it will, it's definitely an exciting one to see everyone back, the fans and everyone like that. So, yeah. Recently, probably find me in the sea. It's lovely <laughs> weather down here. You definitely find me in the sea. <laughs>
I can't say that much in the in the winter times so though. Probably, probably just at home. <laughs> yeah, probably brunching, maybe coffee in, coffee in, coffee in, coffee in. <laughs> yeah, brunching or some sort, eating, chilling out. Um, trying to familiarise myself with my my new home. Um, yeah. Uh, oh God, always put on the spot when you do these, don't you? Okay. Um, <laughs> I know they are. I mean, you need them to come to the games. I know that's. I'm trying to think of how to come to the Amex. That's what I'm thinking. Okay. Quickly. So, okay. Um, hi, fans. <laughs> Really, if I'm watching that, I'm not. I'm not. I'm stuck. I'm going to the other game. Okay. Um, no, we we can't wait to see you back um, at the Amex, hopefully, or at Crawley later on in the year. Uh, we really hope that we can get as many of you down to uh, see us, and we'll take all of our time after the games to come see you. And we're really grateful. So please head on down. It'll be lovely to see you all again. <laughs> <laughs>